my name is Gabriel from Gava QSA. In this video, we are going to talk about RAM. So we are going to see the differences between uh, DDR1, 2, 3, and 4. And we are going to continue with the class. So if you want to get your CompTIA A plus certification, I recommend you to go to the playlist and you can play from the beginning. So that way you're going to understand everything. So uh, let's let's start with the with the class. So this is something that is very important. They are going to ask you for these things in the exam. So that is, I mean, everything is very important. They can ask you whatever, but this is is the main thing in in the RAM. So this is something that you you have to know. So we were talking in the other class, or in the prior class about. RAM bus, uh, how they work inside and all those things. So I recommend you to start always from the beginning. So that way you are going to start, uh, understand everything much better. So let's talk about uh, DDR1. So they were, I'm going to start from the top to to the bottom. So they they were made or they, they start, uh, they, they released them uh, about in 2000. So for DDR1 and then DDR2, 2003, 2007 and 2014 for DDR4. So you're, you're going to see the main differences. Here in DDR1, we have the, the voltage. So with the less voltage you have, the less heat, the less power, you don't have to uh, use, I mean, you're going to save electricity because the air condition, if you have a lot of, if you have a farm of servers and other things, um, you have to multiply these for hundreds and hundreds of computers, servers in this case. And the same thing, I mean, when you are going to choose what technology are you going to use, I mean, DDR3, DDR4, okay, here you have less, a power consumption, of, of course, it will affect the overall you know, of your environment. I mean, the, the temperature and the electricity and, and everything else, so, uh, and the performance of the computers as well. Of, of course, when the, the newer, usually the better. So uh, DDR1, they use between 2.5 and 2.6. That is the, the range. You, here you have in DDR4 and DDR2 1.8 and here we have between 1, uh, 1.5 and 1.65 so this data will be very useful also if you want to overclock your computers and um, another thing that you have to keep in mind this uh, here we have a special um, selection in this kind of run so that is, is very good so if you want like a lower power consumption, you can use a DDR3L. So there is a special model, DDR3L. And here we have DDR3U. So DDR3L is low and the other is ultra low power consumption. So we have 1.35 and 1.25. So for DDR4, you have here and um, DDR4 is between 1.05 and 1.2 and here like I said they have just one uh, special edition here is DDR4L 1.05 so that is the, the voltage that you're going to have in, in this in this case so uh, in so if you are thinking well what if I buy just one RAM that is using maybe 1.05 volts and you have a regular motherboard you may have some issues so you may <laughs> damage the, the RAM so you have to pay attention if you're using this kind of, of, of RAM also another thing is you may find some special RAM that they they can handle everything so it doesn't matter I mean all oh, the why the the range of voltage is is very wide and maybe it can handle between one zero of one uh, dot zero five to one point two or if you are here you may find uh, some RAM that you may start from 1.25 to 1.65 so you make 
you have to make sure those things so you you don't damage the the ram using the the wrong <laughs> the wrong one so that is one thing that you have to keep in mind and here we have uh, to think about the the sizes so here we have ddr1 so this is very old but if you grab the ddr4 like i was showing you be before in the in the other class you will see that the size is the same but you're going to have more pins so in this case we we have 184 pins for desktop computer is this uh, this size and if you have this the so dim you, you will see that is uh, less than a half of the size and yeah you will see it has 200 pins so with the other with the ddr2 you're going to see the same almost yeah the same thing but with more pins here we have 240 and then for the desktop and for the uh, notebooks uh, you're going to have 200 and for the ddr3 you're going to have 240 and for the sodium 204 and for the um, ddr4 uh, 288 and 256 for the notebooks and you have a special edition here so it's one, uh, 30, 172 uh, pins for the micro dim micro dim usually is smaller than the sodium so you're going to find that in maybe in a very very ultra notebooks or maybe just network equipment or something is, is special that it needs i mean that the room inside is very tiny so they are going to extract they are going to use the, that kind of, of ram so usually what you are going to find as computer technician it will be just regular size for desktop computers and the uh, sodium for uh, notebooks so that is what is more common but depending on the <laughs> on the manufacturer you may find something else uh, we have a, a here you're going to see for a micro micro dim to uh, 14 and for like i said uh, for ddr3 uh, 214 uh, as well so it's the same thing and here on ddr4 i couldn't find anything so yeah, I, I guess they don't have it at least 2017. Maybe they're going to make it, maybe not. Maybe there is not enough demand. Like I said before, it's very, I mean, it's not very common to see this kind of uh, micro, micro dim. But uh, if there is no demand, they're not going to, to make it. And uh, after that, we're going to see the bus clock. The bus clock, we have a... Uh, uh, between 100 and 200 for DDR1 and DDR2 we have uh, between 200 and 533.33 and here we have a uh, 400 to 1066.67 and here uh, from 1066.67 to uh, 2133 with uh, uh, dot 33 so that is the the main thing so if you don't know how it works the internal the external clock and other things like i said start from the beginning you will understand much better and the internal rate in megahertz here will be from 100 to 200 here uh, from 100 to 266.67 and here basically the same thing and in the ddr4 a little bit faster 130 133.33 to 266.67 and the you have the prefetch that is a very important thing so in in, in this case in the ram so prefetch it was kind of the cache so it will try to predict what kind of i mean the data that the memory is going to need before it needs it so that way it's going to provide it and it will be faster that if if it has to fetch it um just without it so without the prefetch so that is how it works here uh, we have two so here we have double four 
uh, for eight uh, for DDR3 and four is eight. So another thing that is very important here is we have in this technology DDR3 and DDR4 we have XMP. It means extended memory uh, profile. So it, if you want to uh, perform overclocking on your computer, try to look for that in in the RAM and in the motherboard so that way you are going to be able to perform all those things and um, before the old ram i mean the the primitive ram it used to use 3.3 volts and 168 pins so that is all the information that i have here and one interesting point in this case is we have with ddr4 uh, at least uh, the norm says that they are going to be able to make at some point 5, 12 uh, gigs of RAM so that be, that would be in one module that would be very interesting so we can have a like, very powerful computer with a lot of RAM so if you, if you, if you are thinking well what do I need so much RAM if you want to have like a RAM disk you can have amazing uh, speed like maybe eight gigs uh, a second. So that is amazing. If you have a, a lot of RAM, you can do th those things. And uh, another thing that I was looking uh, at on, on internet, uh, so at least 2017, I saw that they are going to create or soon they're going to, uh, I mean, they are going to release to the market 128 gigs of RAM in one module and what I saw that they, they already exist is for servers is one module of 64 gigs so that is very interesting I look forward to see one of those soon and, and build those kind of uh, computers so I hope if you have something like that in your computer let me know in the comment in the section below um, I hope you have enjoyed this class remember subscribe click a like and see you next time Bye.